1947, I started playing some gigs with my dad, you know, because he had a band, and I joined his band, and, you know, and that's where it began, and I played steel. Well, when I was 15, I got a twin, one of those big twin steels, and, and worked jobs with that, and and I could get into nightclubs in Utah, and that's where I was raised. And I could get into nightclub as long as I was accompanied by a parent or something. As luck would have it, my father was in the band. See? <laughs> <laughs> so it worked out real good, you know. And that's how I started learning how to do things, you know. <clears throat> that's where it started. Then I, then I took an interest in the electric guitar, a regular. And one of my, well, two of my real heroes were Les Paul and Chet Atkins at that time. So I just learned from their recordings and stuff like that. And that's where I began that. That's you know? amazing. Yeah. Now, just to back up a little bit on your dad, did he also grow up in Utah? Yeah, he was raised in, in Utah and... Uh, um, yeah, and he was always in music there for some reason. <clears throat> what yeah. was his instrument? He, good, he was. He was also a guitarist. Play, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah, that he was a vocalist first. Ah. You know? yeah. So that's where that began. That's amazing. Yeah. <clears throat> it's yeah. amazing how that passion develops, isn't it? To watch that grow. Yeah, and I, if you were to ask me how that does that, I don't know. I have no. It's just. You have it, you have something, and you just automatically, there's something nobody tells you to do. You know what I mean? That <laughs> kind of leads me to a story. I was, Dad thought it would be a great idea to take steel guitar lessons from a real, we, in Utah there in Salt Lake, we had a real good Hawaiian guitar teacher, you know. And I spent couple of lessons with him and he had to drop me. He, he's, he told my father I can't teach him anything. There's nothing I can teach this boy, you know. So you're wasting your money here. You know? <laughs> he said, he's beyond me, so you take it. You know? <laughs> and that's the way that went. In fact, the next steel guitar I bought, it was a triple neck fender. Um, I bought that from from uh, Johnny Hickey. Uh, that was his name. I bought that guitar from him, and I had it for a long time. Hmm. Yeah. So that's how that started. That's <laughs> amazing. Know? Yeah.